What is up, boys, and welcome back to another video. It is summer, and it is time for a fantasy franchise. This, uh, I hope, gonna, gonna be a long series, unlike all of my others. Uh, but it's finally summer, so I can actually put time and work into something. And it's gonna be fantasy draft. We're gonna hopefully play through a whole bunch of seasons. There's gonna be stories. There's gonna be custom draft classes if you guys want a player in it suggested in the comments and i will put it in and i'm also going to be creating some of my own custom players but let's get into it by choosing our team with a random wheel oh this is big our team for the series is going to be the washington redskins which is actually the commanders and here we are as the washington dc commanders and let's get into this fantasy draft let's see which pick we get we get the third pick. Oh, we're going to get a pick at a really good QB. I think I'm going to be going Joshua Allen. Let's see what our next user pick is going to be. Um, Marshawn Lattimore was just picked. And we still got some really good offensive line, which offensive line, that'd be huge to get a big one. I want to protect Josh. He's 24. He has only star, but... He is, ooh, that's good. I think I'm taking him. He says that we reached, but he is going to be good for a while. Dexter Lawrence, welcome to the team. I mean, he's already 89, hidden dev. I got to go with Sauce. Yeah. <laughs> we got him one pick after he was supposed to be selected. And now round five. I'll take Laramie. And hopefully Josh Jacobs is still going to be there. And he is not. Oh, I was really hoping. But yeah, I mean, there's still going to be good running backs later. So let's focus somewhere else. Our defense isn't looking the best. Yeah, I, I might want to go with Marquise Brown. Marquise Hollywood Brown. I'm going to pick him just because that speed, that is good. 26 overall right at the linebacker. I really like that. Um, 26, strong safety. I mean, I think I'm going to take him. I like that. Curtis Samuel, he's looking good. Daniel Mooney's pretty decent as well. Curtis Samuel, he's 26, normal. Why not? That is quite a reach, but why not? Quandre Diggs. Hmm. I mean, I will take that. Andre Diggs, not bad. Corey Lindsley, he's pretty old. But I'm going to take him. 503, it's fine. Getting Will Anderson. Oh, I actually like that. Let's go with a Will Anderson. Technically in this, he's not actually a rookie. But we do have all, like, all the rookies in it. Uh, but I like Will Anderson there. Will Hernandez, that would be really good to get Will. He's pretty young. I'll draft him. I like that. And then, I'll probably look on defense. Our defense. It's Jawan Bentley's age. He's 26. Ooh, I actually like him. 83 speed. 86 hit power. I'll take Jawan. I like that. I like that. He's looking good. Out of Wisconsin. I'm going to take him. He's an eagle. I like that. Jamal Williams. He's, he's a scorer. We could get down to the... Get down to the goal line with Josh Allen and then score with Jamal Williams just easily. He's that kind of guy. So let's go for him. Teron Johnson. He's 26. I like that. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get that. Teron Johnson backing up sauce. Saucy Gardner. Hayden Hurst. I mean, I'll take Hayden Hurst. He's kind of old, but we can get another one later. Zay Jones. Ooh, I actually like Zay Jones. This is a wide receiver three. He's deep threat again. Love deep threats. And at this point, I think at round 20, I'm going to be simulating the rest of the draft. And hopefully the simulation gives me a good one. And here we are. Let's look at our team real quick. We got Josh Allen with Matt Stafford as a backup. That's a pretty decent backup if Josh goes down. We've got Jamal Williams. Jarrett McKinnon, Khalil Herbert. That's a really good running back room. I really like that. Marquise Hollywood Brown, obviously. And Zay Jones, uh, one and two. And then Curtis Samuel also with Khalif Raymond. 
And then Hayden Hurst, Isaiah Thomas, that's not bad. We got Tristan Wirfs. Ooh, that was the simulated pick. I really like that. We obviously have to work at uh, uh, right guard. And I think Will Hernandez is going to be long-term. But Corey Lindsay, he's getting old. He's going to be retiring soon. Laramie Tunstall, I don't think he'll be doing that as quickly. But Tristan Wirfs, he is going to be here, and here to stay. And on defense... Oh boy, we got Dexter Lawrence, the second, and uh, right end, not looking too good, and same with uh, second DT spot, but Will Anderson and Charles Harris, I think that's Charles Harris, they are looking good out there, got Teron Johnson, Trey Flowers, Kyle Duggar uh, in the backfield, TJ Edwards, I like that, Jawan Bentley, uh, Williamson and Logan Wilson. I think he's going to be really good. Our linebackers are awesome. Uh, don't have much depth on defense, but we can work at that out later. Quandre Diggs, uh, number one free safety. And then Sauce Garden. We also got a rookie. Who's this? Deontay Banks. Looks pretty good. Um, but Sauce Garden. We got him. Scheme fit. He is it's going to be incredible for this team. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're looking good for the future. Um, on special teams, we don't have a kicker or a punter. So, that's wonderful. Um, I'll go sign one of those. Uh, I, think, I think it's going to be good. We have an 88 offense, 85 defense. 86 overall, and look at let's look at these some of these rosters. Uh, let's first look at division rivals. Uh, the Cowboys they have Daniel Jones and Joshua Dobbs. Uh, that's good for them. They do have Saquon. They literally just stole the Giants with Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley. They're gonna be scary on offense. Jerry Judy is pretty good. Hunter Renfro at Renfro and the rest of these guys not as much. Michael Meyer he's gonna be good. And offensive line is, nah, it's okay on the right side. Uh, decent line. Uh, Bob, they got Bobby Wagner, okay. Um, Willie Gay. And they have a trash backfield. Oh my gosh, they have Derwin James, which is going to be the only guy out there. Uh, yeah, they have a, that's oh, all 70s. Um... And let's go look at the Eagles. They have Russell Wilson, so not terrible. They also have Will Levis, Devin Singletary, um, Calvin Ridley, Deontay Johnson, Marvin Jones. So pretty decent to good wide receivers. Um, and, yeah, they, they got Trent Williams. Um, yeah, not great offensive line. Um, yeah. It's an okay line, defensive line. And they got Fred Warner, Preston Smith as well. Okay. Tyson Campbell and William Jackson. Xavier Rhodes, they got a good backfield. And Justin Simmons, Ronnie McLeod as well. That's pretty decent. Let's look at the Giants. And they have CJ Stroud starting. So that's going to be interesting. Leonard Fournette and DeAndre Swift. I just saw that. Wow. Um. DK Metcalf, Michael Thomas. Whew. They have an interesting team for sure. Pretty good offensive line. Um, they have DeForest Buckner. Pretty okay. And they also have Hassan Reddick, Demario Davis. Dang. Stefan Gilmore, he's good. Christian Gonzalez, Terrell Burgess, Terrell Edmonds, and Ryan Neal. Okay, and uh, let's look at the whole league as a whole to see where players landed, like Patrick Mahomes. Miles Garrett goes to the Seahawks. Aaron Donald to the Bills. Travis Kelsey to the Chiefs. Trent Williams, Eagles. Patrick Mahomes goes back to the Chiefs. Oh, my God. Tyreek Hill to the Jets. Devontae Adams to the Texans. Didn't the Texans also get... They got Travis Kelsey and Devontae Adams. Sheesh. Second more Nick Bosa. Uh, wow, Justin Jefferson goes to the Saints, Michael Parsons, and the <laughs> Bears got Chris Jones and George Kittle. Well, that's pretty interesting. Um, 
We're also going to be looking at all of this uh, when we face opponents. But, yeah, fantasy draft, you know, average. Um, and, yeah, let's play our first preseason game. And here we are at FedEx Field for the inaugural kick kickoff uh, for the Commanders in the preseason. Doesn't take it uh, anywhere, but we get to see Josh Allen for the first time at the 27-yard line. And this is, just, this is just too easy. He sees Marquise Brown not even getting covered. Uh, wide open, easy 15 yards on the first play of Josh Allen's career as a commander. And the very next play, he scrambles for, you know, a bit more. Third and one, designed run, uh, I guess. And then third and one, he makes a really bad decision. Had a couple guys that could have caught it, but it ends up being incomplete. And we have to go for the field goal, which is way short. Yeah, uh, not, not a good start to commanders. But we get pressure on this, but he... Barely gets the grab, second and nine. Kyler Murray throws another pass out, and I don't even know how he broke like those many pet tackles and still got the first down, but he did. Uh, and next play, this was crazy. Kyler Murray tries to get the first down. We go for the hit stick. He spins out of it, breaks another tackle, and then gets laid out by Logan Wilson, and he gets the first out on third and seven. But Kyler Murray already showing off his athleticism to the Panthers, and... Uh, next play to number three, wide open, right over the middle, and Panthers move the chains uh, before eventually getting a touchdown. We tackle him, but he falls into the end zone. So we are down 7-0 to start out this franchise. In the very next drive, Josh Allen finds a wide open, number 36. I don't know all these players' numbers or names yet, but I will. Um... After a couple plays, th finds another wide open. Uh, I believe that is Marquise Hollywood Brown. Maybe. No, I think Marquise wears number two. I don't know who number four is. Might be Khalif Raymond. But next play, find a wide open guy on third and eight, but he can't stay in bounds. He stumbles and falls out of bounds, and that is the end of the first quarter as we do not convert the third down. It is fourth and six. Uh, but luckily, we go for it, and we make it. Uh, good decision by Ron Rivera. Matthew Stafford on his very first pass as a commander, and we get the first down. But unfortunately, this drive wouldn't pan out, and we only get a field goal out of it. So, okay, start. We're down by four in the next drive for the Panthers. Cooper rushes out there, and number 12, he made some big plays this game. Uh, they get a first down, and then the next play, we get lots of pressure, but he finds a wide-open number 12 again. I don't know who this guy is, but he is making some big plays. Somehow he is that butt naked open. Uh, but another very next play, we get pressure, and it's intercepted by 34. I do not know who that is, but he gets the interception. We get the ball back, uh, and yeah, good job by him. But lots of punts in the second quarter. Uh, we punt first, and then afterwards, Panthers punt. And we get it back again. So, yeah, not a great second quarter, at least for watchability so far. But we get the ball back. And the first thing we do with it is Matthew Stafford misses a wide open uh, number 15 or 16 on third and seven. And the fans are clearly very upset about that. And we are forced to punt. Cooper Rush gets it back. And wide open screen gets a huge gain on first down. We lay him out, but no fumbles so far. Cooper Rush does have one interception, though. One minute left in the second quarter. It's first down, and we get the easiest interception of his life. I mean, that was so wide open. And he tries to stiff arm Cooper Rush, but Cooper Rush takes him down at the one. They honestly banks the rookie. That he's not going to be starting because of that. Gets the easiest interception of his life. If he dropped that, he would definitely not be starting. Uh, but either way, he does have to go against Sauce Gardner. But uh, we do get the touchdown with Khalil Herbert, his first rushing touchdown as a commander, and the rest of the third quarter, and the rest of the second quarter, uh, pretty bad.
But finally we get out of this mess with this sweet play action with Matthew Stafford to find a wide open number 15. Is that Khalifa? I mean, I don't know. Matthew Stafford converts there, and we finally get a drive going. We have full momentum as well. And after a couple of plays, it's third and seven. Terrible pass, but a over-the-shoulder check down diving catch. That sentence does not make sense. Uh, Matthew Stafford definitely not doing too much, but he does <laughs> do a lot on the ground, not in real life, but apparently here he's running on his old decrepit legs, and that is the end of the fourth quarter, and third and one, we get a touchdown, uh, guy just couldn't get to him in time, and Khalil Herbert has his second touchdown, this time a uh, receiving touchdown after his first rushing touchdown, and then this was a uh, missed, missed screen, they were doing a lot of screens, uh, second and five, fourth quarter. Panthers really need to start getting something going. Um, and then this play, uh, get pressure, and he tiptoes. I thought he was already out, so I just dove. But thankfully, after that 20-yard play, there was a penalty on the Panthers. As you can see, holding penalty, and it comes back on Farrell Brown. So, very lucky by us, but it's first down now, wide open, T.Y. Hilton. And he gets them all the way up to the 26. Panthers are starting to put together a drive right now. Six minutes left. And this was incredible. Logan Wilson reads the screen perfectly and gets them for a loss of three. Logan Wilson has really proven himself. And not like he does need to. There's not much competition. But he is definitely proving that he's a number one uh, linebacker. But the next play, number 12, again wide, but make it open. Cooper Rush finds him for the easy completion. And they have it at the 11 now. Another screen pass. And this time we do barely get him. He pushes them out of bounds. Uh, very close. And they have to settle for the field goal. And we have a 7-point lead with about 4 minutes left. Close game. Close game in the first game. And then I just want you to appreciate this. Uh, it's only a couple yards. But Khalil Herbert showing the grid there. Got a couple spin moves in there. And Khalil Herbert has really proven himself. And he wants that job bad, as you can tell. Matthew Stafford, good wide open pass to uh, Khalif Raymond, I believe. And we're, we're looking pretty good here. Third and ten, he, <laughs> Khalil Herbert, he catches that, takes it out of the man, runs him over. But unfortunately, it's fourth and two. And we have to settle for the punt. And with one minute left, not even a good punt. It's into the end zone. And it is such a close game. Panthers are really need something lucky with Cooper Rush here. And this guy absolutely head taps uh, our linebacker. That was crazy, but just throw him down. And another wide open number 12. We just cannot seem to find an answer for him as Cooper Rush starting to put a drive together. He, Our guy completely whiffs, and they get uh, an easy first down there. And 40 seconds left. They get a wide open touchdown with T.Y. Hilton only because they did hurry up and we weren't able to pick a play, so he accidentally picked safety blitz, ran the safeties down, wide open touchdown, and the Panthers tied up with 40 seconds left. We aren't able to do anything with the ball, and Panthers one last chance before it goes into overtime. And yeah, Cooper Rush does have a decent arm, though, but it goes incomplete and. Oh, the game's over. Eh, oh wait, I forgot there's no overtimes in the preseason, so we ended up tying the Panthers in our first game. So, that was our first preseason game. Saw some good things, saw some bad things, and we ended up tying. Uh, yeah, I didn't even know that there wasn't an overtime uh, in the preseason. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we start out with a tie, and... Um, yeah, I don't think there's going to be too many roster changes. Uh, there is obviously going to be depth chart changes at the end of uh, the preseason. But uh, next video is going to consist of the rest of the preseason, uh, the, the depth chart changes, and all of that. Maybe a trade depends. I don't know. But uh, this is going to be a part of a two-way series between two games, NBA and Madden. And... It's going to be both D.C. teams, Washington Commanders and the uh, Washington Wizards. Um, fantasy drafts on both of them, trying to bring the city some glory 
hasn't felt that, you know, for both teams since the 90s and 80s. Um, uh, but yeah, go watch those videos if they are up by now. They might not be, but if they are, go watch them. Uh, and thanks for watching.